Hi, this is Ricky, and check out this cool Lua script. It's the Yapu Horus mapping widget for iNav or Betaflight. So what it does is it takes the sensors and it overlays your position with a map. And thanks to some extremely helpful people on Discord, I was able to figure out how to replay this in the simulator because typically I have the goggles on and I'm not looking down at my radio. So what I have to do is I start simulating the radio and over here on the left, there is a telemetry simulator button. And all I do is reload my SD card logs. So I click the load button and I find a cool log. And what I was doing wrong initially was I was clicking this run button. But all I needed to do was click this little play button up here, and then it starts playing. The first hurdle I had to overcome was none of the telemetry sensors in the replay or in the simulator are what my actual radio uses. So I have to go over to the model and I have to page over to the telemetry tab. And here are all of the sensors that are actually in my flight controller. And I need to put the telemetry sensors that are in the simulator in here. So I delete all of them. And then I discover the new ones. And all of these are discovered. So I stop it. And then the other thing that I have to do every once in a while is I have a special function that calls out my Express LRS um, transmitter power. But on this one, for whatever reason, every time I rediscover the telemetry sensors, it just picks a random value that it plays over and over. So I go in and disable that. Then here is the Yapu telemetry widget that's playing the flight where it's going to overlay the map and it shows where my craft is. I set up the zoom on my trim switch so I can zoom out. Or I can zoom back in. I think this is one of the coolest things I have seen on my radio. I haven't quite figured out what this arrow is supposed to be doing. Um, this arrow points in which direction that the heading is, but this one is just kind of all doing its own thing. Sometimes it's pointing the right way, or sometimes it's pointing a complete opposite way. So I haven't 100% figured out all the things I was able to figure out how to change some of these values by editing a text file. Um, one of them, I like to see how many satellites I have. But again, on the simulator part, it, it doesn't show that. Um, one of the things I want to figure out how to do is instead of having my Express LRS be right here, um, I would like to see the flight mode. And that is one of the telemetry sensors, but I get an error when I do that. Um, one of the things I just did was I figured out how to take this, um, the battery voltage and divide it by three so I can get the average cell voltage. Here's kind of what that looks like. So I took this and here is where I had my cell voltage. And so what I had to do was, because this is a three cell pack, I just multiplied it by 0.33, and that's how I was able to get that. If you also downloaded the maps from someplace else, you can open up a different spot. Here I am at my sister's house. So you can zoom out of this. If you didn't download the maps, this is kind of what it looks like, or it didn't get loaded. Again, here's where it says no map data, but as long as you prefetch the maps and there is excellent documentation on the wiki on how to do that, you can get these cool overlays on your radio transmitter.